Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy. <laughs> okay. First of all, sorry about the setup right now. I don't know where in here I can film yet. I'm still trying to figure that out, but um, we're in my little bathroom right now. Hi, welcome. Second of all, I know I have this like weird, <laughs> I have like this weird wound on my face. Please ignore it. Basically what happened was I woke up in the middle of the night to myself scratching my face really hard, like so hard that it hurt really bad and woke me up. I don't know why I was doing this to my own face. Was I possessed by a demon? <laughs> I don't know, but now I have this and I don't wear foundation so I can't cover it up. Bear with me. So today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the pros and cons basically of RV life or van life. I'm living in an RV right now. It's definitely on the smaller side, but it's still an RV. But I think I can speak at least a little bit of what it's like to live in a van as well because when we first moved in here there was like no um, running water or we didn't have like the bathroom shower sink any of that like figured out yet so we got a little taste of what it's like to just like live with a bed that's pretty much the only accommodation you have with you but now we do have like all that stuff i'm gonna get into that in a second a lot of you guys uh when i did my rv tour said like oh i would love to live like that that's my dream life i want to do that one day and i want to tell you guys like what it's really like so you can know like what you're getting into if you do choose to live like this. Been uh, living like this for about two months. <laughs> Hello. So I'm gonna start with the cons just because let's just uh, get the negative stuff over with so I can tell you guys about what I like. I wrote a little bit of a list um, so if I'm looking down a lot that's why. So the first con is there are extra steps for basic necessities. What I mean by this is, okay, when you're like living in a house or an apartment, you're not really thinking about your water, like where you're getting it, where it comes from. Like usually you just turn on the sink and there's water. But when you're in an RV, you have to fill up the tank yourself. So what we've been doing is we buy our water for, I believe, 30 cents a gallon. They have like these machines outside of Safeway. Um, I think they have them at some Walmarts. <laughs> as well uh, we just like fill up three big jugs of water lug them back um, and fill up the tank and we keep doing that every couple days that's what we've been doing as we've been um living out here like kind of off the grid um, we've just been like camping out on public land so we're not like in a campsite or anything a lot of the times if you are in campsites they have like water spigots they have electrical hookups bathrooms sometimes so if you're living like at campsites or rv parks that's kind of a different lifestyle um, but what I'm going to be mostly talking about is like living just, you know, no hookups, just off the grid, just like out here in nature, you know. So showering, <laughs> this is probably my biggest issue just because I really value showering. I love showering and I've pretty much had to completely give up like taking long relaxing showers. Um, I mentioned this briefly in my RV tour, but we keep the litter box in the shower because we have cats, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, we keep their litter box in the shower. We have to move it out every time we shower. On top of that, we have to make sure the water tank is full, or at least has a little bit of water, a little bit of fresh water, enough to uh, take a shower. And we have to make sure the dirty tank isn't full because then it will back up into the shower as you're showering. That's happened a couple times. If you want a hot shower, you have to go outside and light the propane heater wait about 15 minutes for it to get hot and then take your shower and you can't even take a normal shower as i was saying like you can't take a relaxing shower uh the way you have to do it is you basically turn the water off and on so you turn it on as you need it you lather up with soap or whatever shampoo and then you turn it back on can't waste a single second like under that water out here what we do is we have a generator uh, for all of our electrical needs it can be kind of a struggle because it runs on gas and we have to make sure that that has enough gas if it doesn't then we either have to go get more gas or we just can't use anything electric that day. We're looking into getting solar power though. We're gonna try and switch to that soon. So yeah, that might be a different experience. Hopefully that's a little bit better and less loud. <laughs> Generators are really loud. Another inconvenience, I guess, is that we have to, of course, like wash all our clothes at a laundromat. But for me personally, this isn't much of a con. I always did this when I was living in apartments. I never had my own washer, so I'm really used to that. Taking out the trash. We have to just basically get creative with where we put our trash. Like every time we make a grocery run or something, we just like take some trash with us and like hope they have a trash can. 
they always have a trash can at grocery stores. You just have to like keep track of your trash and like make sure it doesn't overflow in here because it's like such a small space. And then of course the toilet is kind of the same situation with the dirty water, like you gotta make sure that doesn't fill up. We have to dump like our dirty water at a dump station, which they have those at some gas stations every couple days. People in vans without like showers or running water live a little bit differently. Normally they, what they do to like shower and get clean and, and do all that is um uh, they'll get a gym membership so they can use like their shower facilities. I've been looking into doing this just so that I can actually like take good showers use someone else's water, you know? And as I said, when we first started, uh, we hadn't figured out the water situation. So we were showering mostly at campsites if they had showers available. And that, I didn't mind that so much. I don't mind like walking, walking a little bit to go take a shower. It could be annoying sometimes, like if all the showers are taken or if the shower is really dirty or cold or whatever, but you know, you kind of just take what you can get. Okay, so that's like the con about, you know, there's just extra steps to life, things that you normally wouldn't think about if you're living in a house or an apartment or something. So the second con that I wrote down is small space. This is a very small space, okay? We have two people and two cats in here and sometimes it just feels so crowded, especially when stuff gets messy, like if you're living in a house or something and you leave like a couple clothing items around, it's probably no big deal. It doesn't feel cramped. You can leave the room, you know, but um, in here, like a few clothing items take up like a whole side of the room and it feels super messy, even if it's just like a few things. And that can definitely make it feel like cramped and, and like, I don't know, just not cozy, you know, just like messy. So I do like try to clean up as much as I can. Let's talk about the pros. When you're out here, like, you're out here. <laughs> I love waking up to just nature, like no people in sight, just trees, mountains, literally not a voice, not a person in sight, complete solitude. It's incredibly peaceful. This is the view I woke up to this morning outside my window. Second, I can move around as I please because I'm on wheels. So if I want a change of scenery, I can do that. Um, sometimes that can mean like going to a completely different You're staying in like a really pretty area. You don't even have to travel very far to get um, new scenery, something fresh, something beautiful. You could go like 15 minutes away and there could still be like a totally new, different, cool nature area for you to hang out in for a couple days. Um, I love that. I love it. I definitely feel like I get so much more fresh air than I did when I was living in the city in an apartment. Like I'm outside so much more. Yesterday I was like painting outside. <laughs> I never did that when I lived in apartments. Um, there was just no place to like do something like that. Like how gorgeous is this? So that's pretty much it. The cons were longer, but I think the pros kind of speak for themselves. Like, hello. Some overall advice. If you're inspired to live a life like this based off aesthetics, pictures you see on Instagram, maybe TikTok videos, just know that it isn't all pretty views and sunsets and fairy lights. Some of it is, but there are gonna be days when you feel gross because you haven't been able to properly shower in a few days or times when you can't sleep because you're too cold or times when you're just too tired to to get uh, like your basic necessities in order and maybe there are people who have this life like way more figured out than I do and they don't really struggle with these problems I don't know I'm still new to this so I don't know <laughs> I could be wrong I could be making assumptions here, but these are the problems that I struggle with. Um, I am kind of the type of person who unfortunately is like tired a lot, so I just like don't have the energy to get my shit together every day. Um, sometimes I just want to lay around all day, you know, like that type of thing. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I have to say. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. I will answer them. I will add like in the description if there's anything I forgot or whatever. Um, hope you're all having a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.